So I want you to stand. And we're going to pray. And we're going to break off this slumbering spirit. We're going to break off this passivity that try to cloak you. Chuck mentioned the veil. What the enemy does is the veil is like blinders on your eyes, my eyes, that is try to hold us back from the promises and what he has for us. So just, just I'm going to just pray. Just, Lord, just say, forgive me for allowing passivity, complacency, and slothfulness to overtake me. Lord, I choose to see and to hear your truth. I choose to align myself with the truth of your word. That I am strong in you. That I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I break off every word curse. I come out of agreement with every lie and I command them to fall to the ground I repent for cursing my life for cursing my children for cursing my job I repent for, for lies and I need you to let's just pause here a minute and ask the Lord to reveal to you what you need to repent for where you have not aligned with the truth of the word where you have believed that you'll always be sick, you'll always be poor, you'll never get ahead, you'll always be on the outside looking in. Lord, we break off abandonment. We break off that abandonment spirit that tries to hold you back and says to you that you will be on the outside, that fatherlessness. We break that off now in Jesus' name. Lord, we are sons and daughters. We're not going to be. We are. We are sons and daughters. Lord, we take authority over that bastard spirit, that illegitimate spirit that causes curses for 10 generations and that comes into rebellion too. Lord, we just repent. Ho! Oh, and Lord, we align ourselves with you. We thank you, Lord, that we are overcomers. We have an overcoming, overcomers anointing. We thank you, Lord. We rejoice in you. Lord, we choose joy. We renounce depression. We renounce hopelessness. We renounce defeat. The Bible says that you prophesy to them dead, dry bones. That word dry there means to be ashamed, confounded, and depressed. We prophesy life, resurrection life. We decree a shift and a turnaround in your life. Now I pull that. I speak to that that film of passivity and slothfulness, we pull it off now. We say that you will see and hear with clarity. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, amen. wow, wow, wow. Amen. Wow. Passivity is a huge demonic force. I want you to turn and agree with someone that you're going to see every strategy that passivity has against you. Agree with someone next to you. We have to be stewards of our finances and stewards of our time. Stewards of all of our resources. Father, we activate the authority to overthrow passivity in our lives to capture every thought that comes into us. Father, we thank you. Now let's just clap our hands and thank God for Trisha.